Hi everybody, Ryan Horn from ryanstechtips.com. In this video today, we're going to take a look at how a student can turn in additional documents or files to an assignment that they've already turned in work for. Maybe they've submitted their work an hour or a day or a week ago, but they want to add more to it. How we can use the private comments feature in Google Classroom to help create a workflow for that. So I'm logged into student Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins is going to single click the classwork page and she's going to expand this assignment here. You'll notice that Mary's already turned in work for this assignment. She did this a couple days ago. Mary's going to click view assignment. She turned in her free writing a couple days ago, but here's the thing. Now, a couple days later, Mary's thinking, oh man, I also wanted to turn in my my math documents as well. I'm, I'm finished with my image that I took. I took an image, a picture of my math work, and I also have Google Slides that I want to turn in. How's she going to do that? Now, we're going to hang on just a second before we move on because let's toggle over to Teacher View. In Teacher View, the teacher will see that Mary's already turned her work in. Mary has turned in this free writing and that's it. Okay, so keep this in mind. We're going to come back to this in a second. Mary's already turned this, this work in here. We're going to go back to the classwork tab here for teacher view. Now, back to student. So this is Mary's side. How in the world can Mary add a couple more attachments to her work? Notice the add or create button is now gone because Mary's turned her work in. Well, at any time, the student can click unsubmit. So Mary's going to press unsubmit and the message pops up. Unsubmit to add or change attachments. Don't forget to resubmit when you're done. Mary's going to confirm and press unsubmit again. It does not delete your original attachment. It, it keeps that. And now she's going to click add or create because in Google Drive she has two more attachments. Now Mary can single click an attachment and then press add or she can hold on the control key on her keyboard and select more than one and then press add. So here come two more attachments that Mary wants to turn in and then Mary can press turn in here to turn in these additional attachments to her original one turn in. Okay, now you might be thinking super easy, right? We're done. The student turned in their two additional assignments. The teacher is going to get those assignments and give some feedback on them. But wait, if you're like me, I have my notifications for I'm going down here to the settings of my Google Classroom as a teacher. I have my email notifications off. I do not want to receive a million emails from Google Classroom each time a student does something in Classroom. So as a teacher, how will I know that Mary has turned in more work? I won't. It says three turned in. It said that last time. It says Mary Poppins turned in work. It said that last time. Is there any way that I'm going to remember that Mary Poppins only had this attachment before and added these two? No way, especially working with multiple students. I'm not going to be able to keep track of additional work. Well, check this out. Under Huck Finn here, it says new work added. How did that happen? How did that pop up? Well, let's take a look. I This is where I'm going to suggest using the private comment feature in Google Classroom. Now we're back in student view. Mary already turned in her additional work, but what I'm going to suggest the student does every single time you turn in additional work to a same to a single Google Classroom assignment, add a private comment to the teacher. So Mary's going to put new work added, and that's not enough because here's why. Check out what Huck Finn did. Huck Finn said new work added. Thanks, Huck. But as a teacher, I have no idea what work is old and what work is new. I can't remember. So that's not enough. Switch back to student view. Students, after you say new work added, put the work that you added, list it here. So you can say algebra example. And then you can say the other one was the addition problems. And now submit that to the teacher. So now the teacher is going to see this message and the teacher will know what exactly to review and give feedback on. Let's switch over to teacher view. So now the teacher, when looking at this assignment, remember the assignment's still going to say three have turned in. That didn't change. 
But now there's a message here, new work added. So that as the teacher gets my attention to see the rest of the message, I'm going to single click it. New work added, ah, algebra example and addition problems. So now as the teacher, I can look at each one of these and then give feedback. Teachers, you need to close the feedback loop so you don't have to keep coming back to this. So teachers, after you review that work, add a private comment back to the student to close that feedback loop. Great job, Mary. Loved your detail on your math problems. And teachers, once you close that feedback loop by sending an additional private comment, that's your cue as the teacher that you don't need to review any more work here, but I still have to review Huck Finn's. So for Huck Finn as the teacher, I'm probably going to ask a private comment. Please tell me what new work you've added. Okay. All right. That was a lot, but I hope that helps. That is how you can use the private, private comment feature to create that feedback loop to, for students to give and turn in additional assignments on a single Google Classroom assignment.